Hi guys, it's Ryan for another video and this week though it won't be an infinity one I know it's been a lot of different videos recently but this one is relevant and I wanted to do it for a while This video will be going up on the 4th and last year on the 5th of September I uploaded my first proper infinity video that wasn't just an unedited battle report and I wanted to make this video to sit down and talk about the last year and what I want for the next year in a state of the channel type video if this is not your jam, feel free to wait until next video where I'll start talking about reinforcements in two weeks. Also in the background you'll see the new panel playing and they look fantastic. So why am I doing this video? Well it's largely to be communicative of what's going on in my mind with the channel. I do plan to continue the channel obviously. This is much more of a state of the channel and a retrospective. I'll talk about why I started the channel as well and some of my goals for the next year. I'll also talk about what I do well, what I'll continue to do, what I want to do less of and what my plans are going forward. So why did I start doing videos? Well, in short, I felt like there wasn't much happening on Infinity YouTube and I wasn't seeing much in terms of the videos that I wanted to watch. There was battle reports and some other Infinity content but not army breakdowns post Ravenite, which was kind of needed with the new fire teams and the new profiles and well, how hard could it be? So I sat down and I decided I would cover Military Orders, Caledonia, Cosmoflot, Tunguska and Assassin's Baram, back when I was getting tempted by Assassin's Baram. So I started with three Military Order videos, a faction breakdown because I felt like that was lacking, a purchase guide and a list video, which I felt was a good way to cover the faction and how to get into it. I'll talk about them in a minute, but it's pretty easy to say I like them because I've done it thrice and I get requests to do more. So why these three and why these style of videos? Well, one, I thought it was pretty simple to do, easy to edit and do multiple takes of. And I knew I liked it when Concilium Watch, Vol, Cav had done them. I wear my inspiration on the sleeve here, so why not? It couldn't be that hard, but it did take time, which is why I went from weekly to fortnightly uploads. And honestly, I have no idea how I imagined I managed it originally. So yeah, I started because I wanted to see content again and it helped scratch my infinity itch. It also did it at a time where I struggled to have any sort of hobby time with the newborn around and it took my mind off of caring for a small potato with no volume control while she slept. Fortunately, I am getting more games again and my daughter is now much bigger. So what about the reasons buying my other content? Well, list videos are pretty much the same. Others did it and I thought it was doable. Finally, why the buying guides? Well, I'm fairly money conscious like anyone else these days and getting into a hobby, I don't want to be buying far too much. I like to know what I want to get to start a hobby and I felt like I knew enough about military order to give some recommendations and help out newer players and to be honest, people liked it and no one else was doing it. So I thought I'd make it my unique selling point. But first, what are these goals I keep talking about? Well, I said to myself, look, in a year, if I want to get about 100 subs and okay views, because I mean, I was putting it out there to be watched. Being watched would be nice. I did think jokingly to myself, wouldn't it be a lark if I hit 1,000 subs in a year? So I went about uploading and all was good. Slowly getting more subs until that rate takes up in November to eventually get about 100 subs in February, seven months earlier, which is fantastic and shows this channel is helping or at the very least entertaining people. So I had a new goal, 200 by the end of the year. The numbers maybe just worked out for that. Then four months later, I got 200. So the next goal was 250 by the 4th of September. Then four months later, I got 200. So the next channel goal was 250 by the 4th of September. Then I was looking likely to hit that before Gen Con. No, I hit 300 subs before Gen Con. 300 people liked my stuff enough to subscribe, which is fantastic. I had hit my almost maximum goal for the channel. I, I can't be happier. I also have two videos that have also hit a thousand views, which is mental for 1000 people to say, I'm gonna go watch that, and then they did. And then like half stick around for a good proportion of the wet video, which is even better in my mind. It's not much in the grand scheme of things as I'm a very small YouTuber in a niche within a niche, but I'm very happy with it. So what's my next goal for the channel? Well, I want about 500 subs for next year, and I want to hit around 2,000 watch hours, which is basically halfway to partner, and I think that's doable, but I am setting my goals reasonable and achievable. I'll talk more about things going forward in a bit, but now I'm optimistic. So of the types of videos on my channel, I wanted to talk about each one, my thoughts on them, how it's done, and my thoughts going forward. Before warned, there's some stats going to appear on the screen. 
Sectorial guides are one third of the reason I started my channel alongside the list guides and buying guides. I consider a core part of the channel and while they are not the most popular videos, they are very well liked with the second most subscriber games and the most watch time by video category. I of course only have done three of them with another three on the way with reinforcement guides for Pano, Ariadna and Nomads as well as maybe one for Tunguska as well. The reason I'm limited on these and for every video I put out, I want to be confident in everything I say and honestly I don't know other factions well enough to do as I've done the three I already actually play. But going forward I want more games with current and new factions so we should see more of these just in time. I just want to note that the Cosmoflop video is the most popular video of the three with 1.1 thousand views and around 210 hours of watch time. That's pretty much the bulk of the views and the watch time here. People seem to maybe have liked this longer form content so long as the content should have been that length. I'll talk about that more in a minute as well. So going forward these videos will continue and ultimately I want to increase my quality with these videos but fortunately or Unfortunately, this is a very basic video format, so the quality will come from better scripting and hopefully better audio. Buying guides are the next third core part of the channel and are pretty popular as they are much shorter and informative videos, with the Caledonia Proxy Guide and the Military Order Purchase Guide being the most viewed video of the three that I have done for these factions. These videos also kind of suffer from the lack of confidence of putting something out that I'm not 100% confident in. I have no monetary stake in Infinity, I only want to see the hobby grow. So like most, I want to see people enjoy the things I enjoy, and I don't want to see people wasting cash. Although this is a hobby where I don't believe you can really do that if you enjoy the painting, but it can be very demoralising to buy into a faction and then be told, hey, you've spent £100, okay, but you need another £100 to make a good list. And I am aiming to avoid that with my videos, to be clear on what will serve you well when getting into a faction. With military orders for example, I do say get the action packs and Teutonic Knights, which is expected, but also the robots. They'll make your life easier as you learn the game, and they might be a bit of a boring unit, but they're kind of fun to paint. This way I feel like I'm getting a good range of advice that will help people get them into the game on the right foot. And this seems to be working, as I do get positive comments on these videos, and as such, I will slowly but surely bring out more. But since money is implicitly involved in these videos, I really want to do more research before releasing. I'll probably try and cover the low-hanging fruits next, like sectorials that come from a Cold One faction, such as Shabasti or Swalharima Winter Force. The last bit, but the comment on the length before was mainly pointed to the Cosmoflop purchase video, which I don't think was a bad video, I just felt like I scripted it poorly and I should have made it punchier. Yeah, a bit, here's the action pack, what I recommend next, another important piece, here's the dope stuff but it's not required, and not an extensive breakdown of everything in the faction. So improvement here is I'm going to keep doing these videos, but I'm going to keep them tight and focused, but informative and keep the whole semi WYSIWYG and proxying thing in mind. List videos are the third and final core of my channel and they are probably the least popular of the three and possibly the least popular type of video I will be continuing to do. They are well received and I think people like going over lists but I'm not really sure what to add here except an emphasis on quality of scripting and lists. Additionally expect two for Tunguska, one for 300 points, one for reinforcements, then expect one for military orders, Caledonia and Cosmoflaw for reinforcements. Maybe only three or four lists per faction though. Tips and tricks is my catch-all term for general infinity advice such as getting started, running tags, top 5 tips and so on. This is my most watched video category by far and has the most popular video on my channel, the getting started video, which I want to look at again and make sure it's still good enough. As I've said, these tend to do pretty well as they are pretty much applying to every player because it's a complicated system so what may start as entertainment of, oh I know this, but may turn informative as you go. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. This is also a category that's pretty easy to write for, largely because I once I have an outline then the script basically slowly follows. Researching it doesn't take long as once I get my thoughts down I can fact check them thoroughly and then put it out there for people. This will prompt discussion as well in comments which may correct me on points, which is nice because you know what, I like being correct. These will continue and fortunately thanks to comments I've got a good few ideas already. Lore videos came from me being inspired from Raveneye and the lore was pretty comprehensive from Military Orders and as a Military Orders fan I wanted to cover it. 
it wasn't massively popular. The short military order background went okay and was some people's cup of tea, but this is when I really needed to up my thumbnail game. The longer video was basically an unabridged hour-long breakdown of every military order unit and this was weirdly better received but for me was a bore to work on and edit on thanks to its length and I think it comes across. However, people seem to really like it enough to ask for other factions so I don't think people mind. So this is probably the first video where I'm considering leaving it by the wayside and I'm not sure what type of video I want to make going forward for a couple reasons. It can be hard to find details for the lore. Quarver's Belly places all the lore in paid books, which is fair because all the rules are free. Can't get it all. This means to get the lore, I need to find the book, any additional lore tidbits in starting booklets or N4, N3, Code 1 rule books, and then make the script. This is largely fine, but in some cases I would need to find a copy of a hard to get book or find a scan of them, which is not ideal because I would like to support Quarver's Belly. Human Sphere can be used, but it is not a good substitute because the lore is mostly accurate, but it does have some holes in it and isn't unabridged. Another reason I might not do this going forward is I just personally find it hard to make it interesting or present it in an interesting way that isn't just reading it out abridged or unabridged. I could dramatize it, but it's a lot of effort for a video at the current pace I do, and I don't want to sacrifice other videos' qualities for it. I could do it, but I would really need to nail a proper video production schedule, and I'm just not there yet. And finally, I think Warlord and a few other people kind of just do it better. And to be honest, unless I know I can get the quality I'm happy with, I don't think I'll do another one unless it takes my fancy. Battle reports are a big part of wargaming on YouTube, and this channel started with Dargama ones, and I will probably continue that with some Shatterground ones in the next campaign, but people aren't really a fan of them, or well, they're not really a fan of mine, which is completely fair. Uh, I always end up stressed making them and getting the images or footage needed, and I really just want to play the game. There is a real skill in making them and making them appealing, that I just don't have. So I'll be leaving this one to the experts with Carrion, Rob G and GMG. But don't really expect it to happen on my channel unless I can do something with the online campaigns. Also, while I'm here, congratulations Carrion for doing so well in Interplanetario. You have always got a fan on this channel. Top fives are a pretty fun series of videos and fairly popular because I think top fives are just a popular concept. These will continue as they are fun and simple to make. I just pick a topic, make some biased choices, write a fun script and publish the video. Great way to fill a slot and generate some discussion. The caveat to doing more of these is that I kind of find them hard to come up with interesting concepts. I've done top five classifications so I'll probably need to sit down and come up with some good concepts for this. I may revisit the tag slaying video, but open it up more. So expect more of these, but I have no idea when. Homebrew videos are not popular. They are my second worst series behind battle reports. I really like making these and people really like interacting with them, but they're not hugely popular. And I don't want to give the impression that's the only reason I make videos. I will actually make more of these, but I accept them as fun side projects, which is kind of like this YouTube channel. I was a real big fan of my Neo Caledonian video since it allowed me to make a point about Corvus Belli's sectorial design. Again, maybe expect more, but I don't really know when. Finally, as my other videos, these are really projects that don't fit a category and are essentially passion projects for the channel, which again itself is kind of a passion project. They are fun or really relevant videos I want to get out and talk about, like the models I've painted, some random fan theories I have, or collating news. These do really well and I really enjoy making them. Like the top five scripts, they tend to be easier to produce and record and people enjoy interacting with them as it becomes very transparent that I am a fan of the hobby. I'm a fan of my lizards. I'm a fan of infinity. I'm a fan of what will probably come next. So these will continue not only because it's a category for everything else, because I love the occasional random video. So what are my plans going forward with the channel? Well, it's the same as before, but with a few points I really wanted to talk about. Quality is something I've said throughout this video is something I want to improve. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to improve the quality of my script structure make it more punchy and get to my points quicker. 
I like 20 minute videos as much as the next person, but I think some could be shorter to their benefit. I do feel like 30% of my videos are lead ups before the big topics as well, so I want to cut the redundant lead time so that all the information is there, but we get right into it. I also want to up my presentation game, as just infinity art rotating through the background is something I'm not really happy with. PowerPoints I feel are a step up, but I'm not sure of what to do from there. I consider myself more audio focused, but visuals do make or break a video, funnily enough. As such, I'll need to think about better A and B role and how I present my videos. Hopefully this change will produce far more interesting videos. Consistency I think is a major boon to my channel and I want to keep a fairly regular schedule, barring special occasions. Since everything is scheduled in advance, it means I can keep this going during holidays as well. Boxing Day was a surprisingly good day for me. I am going to continue with fortnightly videos as I think I'm one of the more consistent Infinity YouTubers and I would like to continue that and also be wrong so we see more content from other people. Finally is other games and Warcrow. Well, this channel is for me to cover whatever I want to be honest and for now that's Infinity. But if I get into another game and I want to cover that, I'll cover that as well if I think I can do good fun videos on it. I don't know if that will happen, but I'm open to it happening. Currently the most likely thing to take my fancy is any army or skirmish game that I can use my lizards or dwarves in. Or Warcrow. So that was my video of a year in the review of my channel. Hopefully you enjoyed the look behind the curtain and will like and subscribe for more. It really helps. As always, thank you so much for watching.